Welcome back to another episode of Colin J. After dark, you're not looking at us because you are looking at a snake. We have gotten into the creek and we have a snake and we have a giant, a really nice sized common snapper. That's all. Okay, we got a snapper and Jay's gonna go get it. Go get that snapper, Jay. Jay's going in for the grab. Grab the tail and grab the underside. Hey, Jake, can you turn your light off? Oh, so sorry. One more. Okay, you're good. Holy oh smokes, Jay. Oh, gosh. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Check you so out, fast. Jay. You look awesome. He is. <laughs> he is fast. Jay, you've got yourself an awesome looking. Yeah, this is a big one. Snapping turtle. This is not the alligator snapping turtle. This is the. The common snapping turtle. Or just plain old snapping turtle. Oh, golly. You do but, not want to get bit by him. No, these guys have an outstanding reach. They can reach way on the back side of their shell and underneath and get you with their powerful jaws. What you didn't see is I fell down. <laughs> <laughs> I got so excited. Hey, Jay, tell us how you're holding that turtle. Oh, got one hand right here. Let's get, see, hold him up, let's see that. Okay, so Jessica's got one hand supporting plastron. the weight of the turtle on the plastron. You don't want to pick these turtles up by the tail. But I do have a grip on the tail. Yeah. But I'm not hurting him whatsoever. Nice. No, you got a grip on the tail just to keep him under control. You do not want to reach your hand behind the head on the carapace, as you can see right here, because they can bite you if you Ooh. grab them right there. And that would not be good. Yeah, it would not be good. This is a good sized turtle, probably a seven pound turtle, probably. Mm -hmm. They get upwards of 30 pounds, but this is a really nice one for this creek. And Jessica's going to go for the release. And we're going to continue down the creek and see what else we can find. Say bye. That's a great way to start the night. back for you okay, so we are just now spotted another turtle as our friend is taking his making his way over to that rock Jessica's going for the other turtle can she do it look at there <laughs> let me zoom out a little bit I'm, I'm kind of close to you all right so what you got there Jay right here right here slider oh yeah big girl okay now you can see this is a red-eared slider one of our most common turtles in the ditch and this is a female. The way you can tell this, the sex of these turtles is in the fingernails. The males will have freaky long fingernails, like abnormally long. And the females have normal short fingernails. So that's the best way to distinguish a red eared slider turtle male versus female. The female will also have kind of a convex belly. The males would be a little more concave, but she looks like she's ready to go too. So send yeah. her back in there. We need to keep an eye on where the big turtle is. I have no idea where he's at now. Yeah, we don't want to step on him. Nope. Okay. Ready? Okay, see you later. Whee! Bye, have fun. <laughs> okay. We have eyes on a big soft shell turtle. Guys, it's turtle night out here today. It's a turtle party. We thought we were coming here to catch snakes, but it has turned into a giant turtle fest. We started off with that nice snapper and look at this guy's neck. Oh my gosh. This is the spiny soft shell turtle. We've seen a couple of these on the channel so far and they are all just so awesome, man. Look at that big pancake <laughs> shaped carapace, long giant net neck, big tubular snout so they can get a breath of air without having to move from their hiding spot. They have these big giant webbed feet and claws for digging in the sand and burying themselves. Just an absolute wonderful, stunning looking. <laughs> don't bite my nose, buddy. I don't want my nose to look like yours. I don't want it dangling all weird. It's kind of cute though. Look at that. Yeah. That's cute. Okay. We've gone like 50 yards up the creek and have spotted three really nice turtles. Maybe we'll get on some snakes, maybe we'll get on some more turtles, I don't know. But it's already been a great night. Hey guys, so this is Emily. Say hi, Emily. Hi. <laughs> and she is holding the big soft shell before we release it. Now I want you to grab your hand and put it right there. 
I can grab it real firm. It's strong. You can even reach underneath if you need to. I think I got it. Okay, I'll lift up. <laughs> there you go. Hey! Yes, yeah. <laughs> Look at you. Ah, uh, this is so cool. This is the biggest one Emily's ever held before, right? The only one. Oh, that's the only one? Yeah. Okay, her very first spiny soft shell turtle. And her biggest, ah. her PB. Maybe we'll wow. find a bigger one. I know there's some bigger ones that live out here. I think we should let Emily do the one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Will they bite? Yes, they bite oh. hard. Oh, okay. They I don't, like, I don't want like to find out what it feels like. <laughs> yeah, they have a keratinized beak and it's sharp. Okay. Well, it's not gonna turn around on me, is it? It's no, just gonna go. No, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Goodbye. First turtle ever that I got to hold. Oh. That's awesome. Oh. Heck yeah, That's Emily! That big. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we're on our first snake of the night. A big diamondback water snake. He is actively foraging right now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's trying to. He's hunting little fish. There's a few in this pool and he's trying to get them. There you go. There's my foot. And there's the snake. And no, I'm not stepping on him. He stuck his head underneath my foot. <laughs> Jay, come grab him. Jay's going for the grab. It should be. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Where'd he go? He's right there. He's tucked away. Oh, he's, he's going that way. Not to get bit. Go. <laughs> he went down in that bush. He got deep in that crevice. It's probably a three foot snake. His belly seems full as we caught him foraging. We're gonna try to hold him gently and firmly. You can see he's kind of flattening his body out. His head's getting flat and he's trying to, starting to kind of look more um, dangerous. Try to keep him calm. He might strike. We're gonna try to keep him from doing that. But you can see it's a defense strategy for these snakes to flatten themselves out and make them look bigger than what they really are. And when they flatten their head out like that, they can come off as being venomous. He's also musking, which is pretty gross. It's always gross. Water snakes always musk when you pick them up. If you have picked a water snake up and it hasn't musked on you, good job. <laughs> Thumbs up for that. But yeah, this is our first This is our first snake caught. We saw a Midland water snake earlier. He got away. But yeah, it's a great way to start the night on the snake side. Okay, here we go. We'll see you later. Oh, you're coming to me. Oh, there he goes. Sweet. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Oh, watch yourself. And. Uh -huh. Oh, turn your light off. Oh, sorry. You're okay. You can call it like that. Jay had to put her mouth, <laughs> put her light in her mouth, and she. Oh. Okay. Good. She's good. We got our second snapper of the night. Woo, he's stinky. He's cute, though. <laughs> stinky and cute. So cute. Kind of like you, Jay. I'm not stinky. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm a little stinky. We didn't, you didn't call when, you're, snake when you're out catching snakes and turtles, you're gonna get stinky. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Let's I get can't a... handle the cuteness. Hold up right here. <laughs> Man, you're a good looking turtle. He was hanging out in this brushy stuff right here, and we were looking at a snake, and then he just popped his head out. So it's probably a good thing we didn't reach our hands in there looking for the snake. Right. That would have been. <laughs> we were about terrible. to send Emily in there. <laughs> Emily, I don't know if Emily would have been ready for that. Reach in there, she's like, I thought you said snake. She would never somewhere. forgive me. Like, well, you didn't give it by snake, but by snapper. That's the size and of that's it. a lot worse. First than last time I come on a cold day trip. <laughs> Ladies, what's going on? Oh my gosh. 
This is Emily's worst nightmare. <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> we just bought it a water moccasin. <laughs> and it's a big one. And he's being really sneaky. And um, we're gonna get some shots of him. Oh. All right guys, as you can see, I have a mega moccasin in my hands. It was a crazy spot. I mean, we, we've caught all those big turtles. We've had an epic trip so far on the creek. And this is, the, this is gonna be the pinnacle of our night right here. We, um, we were kind of afraid we might stumble on to, upon one like, and not see it because they're so sneaky. And we got to this spot um, over here to our right where we had some nice little water flow and all this grass and all these wild bean plants or whatever these things are. And the snake was just sitting right in the middle of it, you know, hardly unnoticed. And I don't know, somehow I got eyes on her and um, went over to it. I had to pull one of those bean plants out because I broke my stick catching one of those big turtles over there. I fell down in the creek, broke my stick in half like an idiot. That's all right. But I got this bean plant to thank for helping me secure this water moccasin. And you can see I have a firm and fair grip behind the head. The snake is very venomous, it has a strong hemotoxic venom that will destroy red blood cells. You don't want any of that. And I do not advise any of you guys to go out into a creek and catch venomous water moccasins after watching this video, unless you are a skilled, trained professional, or you've been doing this for a long time, like I have. This is one of the largest uh, water moccasins that I've caught in a long time. And she's just super beautiful. Like, I mean, beautiful coloration on her. Looks exactly like what you want to see in a pit viper. She has that pit between her nostril and her eyes. It's heat sensing. She has these heavy, keeled scales on her body, super rigid. They're awesome. And as you can see, it has the notorious, very big wedge shaped head with those giant venom sacs. And this is a big snake, so it's got big venom sacs. Probably a female, based on size. It could have babies inside of her. I would think it's highly possible that she could be gravid with baby. Water moccasins. Water moccasins actually have live birth. How about that? It's pretty cool. They don't lay eggs. They have live birth. Little baby water moccasins come out of this guy. But anyways, I think we're going to release this big snake and put it back where we found her. And we're gonna continue down the creek a little bit, maybe find a couple more snakes. And stay tuned with us if you'd like to see some more snake catches. And uh, yeah, it was an awesome catch. We're gonna send her off. We're in the final stages of this snake capture. The I guess the second most dangerous part of snake handling. We got the initial capture, the hold, and now the release. We're just gonna gently let go and put her back right where we found her. She might float down a little bit. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! And she's free. Let's see what she does. Coming for you. Here she comes. She's, I'm done with you, boy. Wow, look at her. She's so big. There he is. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Emily I with got her a bunch first of other stuff grab. too. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, you can inch your hand up towards its head if you want him to okay. not get bit. Whew. Oh! It doesn't <laughs> hurt that bad. <laughs> oh, look at that. I, oh no. I thought it was going to hurt really bad, but. She caught like her first nothing. snake in her first snake bite. <laughs> oh, sorry. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you're getting gnawed on. Oh my gosh, she's still biting you, Em. Yeah. Okay, that hurts a little bit, but not really that much. Wow. Wow. You have been bitten, Emily. Emily first... is getting gnawed on right now. <laughs> this, is, this is Emily's first snake catch and her first snake bite, and uh. we are just, we're just letting it happen. <laughs> okay, you're good. Any moment. Okay, I had fun with you. See you, guy. Hey. <laughs> Emily's first snake bite. Now neither that snake nor Emily were harmed in the making of this video clip. <laughs> On down the creek we go. We have a little bit further to go before we end our journey and head back to the cars. Wish us luck. Hopefully we find something else. Good job, Emily. Thank you. Okay, so we just caught two more. I've got a plain belly. I have a Midland water snake. 
And I think this is all the snakes that we are gonna catch tonight. We are about to head back to the truck, go home, get cleaned up, because we stink. <laughs> <laughs> I got bit by one diamondback water snake, baby, and I'm good for the night. It didn't hurt, but I'm ready for bed. <laughs> but drop a comment down below saying, way to go, Emily, because she did awesome. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. So we're gonna let these snakes go, then we're gonna climb out of the creek and head back to the truck. And we will see you on the next video. <laughs>